Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Subtropical storm Alberto didn't cause as much physical damage as state officials had expected, but... The timing couldn't have been worse. That's because it made landfall during Memorial Day weekend, the second busiest weekend for tourism in the Panhandle. So it'll be very hard to recoup some of the losses. Florida Chief Financial Officer Jimmy Petronas' family owns Captain Anderson's restaurant in Panama City. We did 40% of what we should have done. Other businesses in the Panhandle reported similar losses. Losing out on that much economic activity can, can really crush a business. Early estimates put the total loss of economic activity caused by Alberto between six and seven hundred million dollars. In an effort to make up the lost profits, Governor Rick Scott is calling on Visit Florida to ramp up its marketing efforts in the Panhandle. The Florida Retail Federation says business owners still need to do their part in bringing in customers. It's just a matter of increasing marketing, uh, having discounts, and doing whatever you can locally to get people in there. Some businesses may have an opportunity to make up some of their lost revenue starting Friday with the week-long hurricane preparedness sales tax holiday. This is the way the state gives you incentive to go out there and harden your home, prepare for the storm. Overall, business advocates are optimistic Visit Florida will be successful at attracting more tourists. They point to its efforts in 2017, which resulted in a record 116.5 million visitors despite Hurricane Irma's devastation. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.